What's up everyone, Willy Apple here, and yesterday Apple has released macOS Ventura Beta 11 to developers and public beta testers. In this video, I'll be showing you what is new inside of macOS Ventura Beta 11. Today, Apple has also released iOS 16.1 Beta 5, iPadOS 16 Beta 12, tvOS 16.1 Beta 5, and HomePod OS 16.1 Beta 5. And today, Apple has released WatchOS 9.1 Beta 5. Don't know why the WatchOS is delayed a little bit, but it's all right. So unfortunately, we did not get a whole lot inside of macOS Ventura since we're nearing the end, but I'll be showing you the build number right now. Checking my settings, the build number is 22A5373B. So we have a B at the end of the build number, which indicates two things. We will either have one more beta next week and then the RC and final release the following week, or we'll just get the RC next week if it's smooth enough. The B at the end of the build number indicates that Apple is not 100% sure if this is ready to be the final beta. And if we were to take a look at some app build numbers, we got eight out of 50 of the apps on macOS updated. So this is all based off of all the apps in the launch pad right here, all the default ones. I do not count the DVD player or anything deprecated. I only count the apps that are inside of the launch pad right here. And the Apple Silicon firmware version is 8419.41.10. So we got a little minor update right here from beta 10. If we're gonna take a look at our about this Mac right here, we got regulatory certification updated right here. So this document right here basically shows some legal information about your Mac. It has been updated for more countries. Sometimes if we were to go down right here, sometimes if we were to select it with our arrow keys and then press space right here, this would not work 100% of the time, but now it is working. Unfortunately, we do not have a whole lot inside of Mac OS Ventura, but I'm gonna do a quick Geekbench test right now. All right, if we were to take a look at our new Geekbench tour, we got a 1754 on the single core and a 7662 on the multi-core. This is our best score so far, 1760, 1778. So we can get rid of beta 10 since that is not even close to what we got here. I'm not sure what I did to get this best Geekbench score. Hopefully we get this soon. Now what can we expect next from Apple? So there are two possibilities of what we can get next week. So we can either get a release candidate next week or another beta. I'm gonna go with the release candidates since Apple might not know if this is smooth enough for the general public. In my opinion, it is smooth enough. It is faster than Monterey. So I'm going to guess a release candidate on Tuesday, or if we get Apple event invites tomorrow, that is still a possibility for the 19th right here, we will get the release candidate on the 19th. If Apple goes to beta root, we could see the a new beta on Tuesday right here, and then maybe we could see release candidate Thursday or Friday, or Apple could just delay it to the 31st on Halloween. But to be honest, I kind of doubt it. And if Apple was unsure about it right here, Apple would have updated their preview page right here to say in November. But as of right now, this still says coming this October. Now I don't think Apple really wants to delay macOS and iPadOS again. So that is why I am saying we're gonna get a release candidate next week and the final release will be on the 24th right here. Thanks for watching this video on macOS Ventura Beta 11. Comment, like, subscribe, share this with your friends, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!